It's Fangirl Friday, and I am in my library to talk to you about books. Um, this isn't really my library. I read a lot of ebooks, so this is kind of a paltry show of the Black Library books I do have. Um, these are usually just purchased at the con at a con of some sort from the Black Library booth. But I will talk about the Black Library authors who were kind enough to actually go out and share the video to my voting link on for Geek and Sundry. It was like super nice of them, super incredible, and I, it was something I totally didn't expect. I was kind of fangirl squeeing the whole thing, um, not only because you know it, it was super sweet and awesome of them, but because I'm just I'm a fan of their work as well. So yeah, it was a bit of a highlight for me in that journey. I'm going to talk to you about the first author, starting off, um, who is Aaron Dembski bowden He was like the first one to say, hey, you should check these out. And he is an excellent writer. His prose is just, it's, it's music to the ears. And that is why I'm recommending Butcher's Nails to start out with. If you are any sort of uh, chaos um, player, if you're a Space Marine player and you want to have an insight into the Emperor, um, Butcher's Nails actually includes two Primarchs, and so there's an incredible, incredible, mind-blowing scene written in it where two Primarchs are actually in battle, and the descriptions are, it's, it's incredible. Anyways, go ahead and check out Butcher's Nails. Hearing Aaron's words read by actors is just, it's, it's really beautiful. Anyways, after Butcher's Nails, following it is the book Betrayer. Also extremely excellent. I actually, this is one of the books I did buy because it's limited edition cover specialness, woo! Um, yeah, and it is, it's excellent. Go ahead and read that. You know what? I'm just gonna stop myself right now and say, you should actually go and read the entire Horus Heresy. All the authors I'm gonna talk about have written for the Horus Heresy. They're excellent. And if you're like a 40K player, this was like a pivotal moment in the Emperor, in the Empire, or in the Imperium. Go ahead. Do yourself a favor and like check out the fluff of the the heresy. It's like, I think Will Wheaton once said that like the Warhammer Forty Thousand universe was the most like well realized science fiction universe out there, and it's because of Black Library authors who have done so much work in making and fleshing out this universe. But it is really the first time you get to know the Primarchs, and the Primarchs are aspects of the Emperor. So if you want to know what the old man and the broken throne really looks like and what he truly was at his greatness, go ahead and read The Horus Heresy because you will find out so much more about not only your favorite Primarchs, but also the, Empire through th or the Emperor through them. Now, with that said, I'm going to go on and talk about James Swallow. I won't go ahead and talk about any more Horus Heresy books though, so I'll jump in and say that James Swallow um, I had the privilege of meeting at the Black Library Expo here in North America in Chestermere, and he is so nice, like just, just a really nice guy, like the opposite of Orson Scott Card, nice, like incredible. And I say this because it therefore is surprising that he would be the guy who has written more words about the Blood Angels than anyone else on this planet. And um, I know there are a lot of people out there who like to hate on their particular chapter. Blood Angels happens to be the chapter I hated on. Um, even back when I wore the red shirt with the, the quilla on my back. As a Games Workshop employee, it was always easy and fun to make fun of Blood Angels players. But the, the, the stories of the Blood Angels are super interesting. James does a really terrific job. And he knows that, that army better than Matt Ward does. So just go ahead and take the fluff that is in your Blood Angels Codex, just rip it out, and go and get the Angels, om like the Blood Angels Omnibus, and put that in your book. And you'll be a happier person for it, I promise you. The other book I'm gonna actually suggest by James Swallow is not a Black Library book. I know, I know, but it is still pretty geeky. It is a Star Trek book. Um, it is Terak Nor, Day of the Vipers. Uh, it is set in the Deep Space Nine universe, which is actually my favorite uh, series of the franchise. So I was pretty partial to it. And he mentioned it to me while we were talking over dinner. And I decided to afterwards go ahead and read it. And it's, it's excellent. 
if you're a fan of Star Trek, you know, if you're a fan of the Deep Space Nine universe, uh, you know, want to get insight into that whole Cardassian Bajor kind of history, which is like that sort of stuff I eat up, go ahead and check it out. It's I, I totally recommend it. Now, one more author who I want to mention is Gav Thorpe. He used to be, well, I guess he kind of is. Anyways, he's game dev as well as a Black Library author. He's been a game dev since, like, I at least since I started in the hobby. So he has a special relationship with the 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 game and the rules and creating stories around that. So I'm actually going to throw out and suggest you read the last Chancellor's Omnibus if you are a guard player, or the first book of that Omnibus, which happens to be 13th Legion. If you don't know anything about the last Chancellor's, they are like a super unit like of, of the guard, and they're they're excellent, and they're fun, and they're characterful, and there were at one point like models made for guard armies who wanted to take last Chancellor's. There were rules, chapter approved rules, for the last Chancellor's if you wanted to play them. They're kind of like, they were kind of like uh, movie marine rules. They, they felt a little overpowered, but it was just, you know, it was really fun to just play them. And, you know, having that kind of link between fluff and game um, is something that only like really authors who were game devs can really, really capture. And I really, I don't, I'm a huge fan of that. So, so go ahead and check that out if you're a guard player and probably pretty new to the game. It's, it's totally on the list. And finally, there's Graham McNeil. Now, Graham has written prolifically, prolifically, but he also was a game dev. And so I'm going to recommend another one of those, like, kind of tie-in fluff-to-game books from him, and that is the Imperial, I guess it's like a compendium now, so it's the Imperial Infantryman's Handbook. Initially, he wrote the the um, Imperial Minotaurum Manual, um, which is like the companion piece to the first one, which is the Uplifting Infantryman's Primer. It's an exceptional read. It's so much fun to have this little book you can pull out with your guard army and and just have a fluff piece to go with it. Like to read the propaganda of the administratum is just it's incredible and it's funny and it's just it's light and it's it's nice to have as a part of your guard army to go with wherever you go you can pull it out read it out during games just just really terrific stuff and it's really fun so I recommend you go ahead and pick that up if you're a fantasy player and I know a lot of us are um, you go ahead and check out the legend of Sigmar omnibus by Graham McNeil as well he Graham is probably one of the like black library authors when I used to work at Games Workshop who you would could consistently recommend his fantasy books for um, it just it was always like on point an excellent read so go ahead and pick that up too you know if you're not a fantasy player you know there's lots of other options from Graham I promise you um, he's written on ultramarines he's written prolifically in the uh, Horace Harris series he's, he's everywhere so you know you usually can't you can't go wrong you can't go wrong. That is it for me today. Um, if you have any recommendations for Black Library books you should read, or Black Library authors I should pick up, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe this video. I actually made a Fangirl Friday today, which is kind of rare. I've been falling behind on that sort of stuff, but I will continue to produce these videos as I see them. Now, hopefully I will see you Monday with a kind of rant, but if not, I will definitely see you for Hobby Health Wednesday.